Your Excellent, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Ligadi Gashago, the Chief of the Deputy Chief of Staff, the AG, fellow cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, CEOs and captains of industry, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today we stand at the cusp of significant milestone in Kenya's relentless pursuit of digital transformation and harnessing the gains of the fourth industrial revolution. The launch of the foreign management information systems and the presidential directive management information system is not just a technological advancement, it is a profound affirmation of our unwavering commitment to the government's digital agenda. The government of Kenya continues to lead by example, spearheading initiatives that position our nation at the forefront of the digital governance. The bottom-up dig digital economic transformation agenda places the honors of the Ministry of Information, Communication and the Digital Economy to deliver the digital superhighway. This pillar encompasses the ambitious task of laying 10,000 kilometer of fiber, establishing 1,450 digital hubs, creating 25,000 public Wi-Fi hotspots, and providing last mile connectivity to 2.5 million homes, institutions, and enterprises. Moreover, it mandates us to drive the digitization of government services and records, ensuring that no citizen is left behind in the digital era. The development of and deployment of the foreign travel information management system is a testament to our resolve to enhance efficiency and accountability within the highest echelons of government. This end-to-end -end automated system streamlines the process of foreign travel clearance for cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, chairpersons, and CEOs of state corporations, all of whom require approval from His Excellency, the President, through the Office of the Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service. The Foreign uh, Travel Information Management System will significantly reduce our reliance on paper-based processes, saving both time and resources, while its inbuilt mechanism ensures strict ad adherence to established policies. I think we have all seen the key features that it has that will really make our management much easier. Uh, Your Excellence, I assure you of my ministry's commitment to support this system and extension to include all government officers who require clearance for foreign travel. This will empower the government to accurately quantify the impact of such travels, minimize redundancy and furnish the data necessary for the informed evidence-based decision making on matters of foreign travel. Similarly, the role of Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service in transmitting presidential directives and pronouncements to ministries, departments, and agencies is pivotal to the effective governance of our nation. Historically, this process has been manual, lacking a robust feedback mechanism to track the status of implementations by the ministries, departments, agencies, thus creating a gap in governance structure. In in response to this challenge, the Presidential Directive Management Information Systems has been deployed and developed. This system will automate the dispatch and tracking of presidential directives, ensuring not only the, the, the timely and effective implementation, but also enhancing accountability to the citizens we serve. As I conclude, let me underscore that that today's launch of the Foreign uh, Travel Information Management System and Presidential Directive Management Information Systems heralds a new era in our journey towards a more digital, efficient, and transparent government. The Ministry of Information, Communications, and Digital Economy remains steadfast in its collaboration with all ministries, departments, and agencies to deliver sector-specific core systems. I humbly request your unwavering support in this endeavor. Finally, I extend my deepest appreciation to every institution and officer who has contributed to the development and implementations of the Foreign Travel Information Management System and the Presidential Directive Management Information Systems. With this, I thank you, and I invite the Deputy Chief of Staff to give his address and invite our Chief Guest. Thank you.